everybody welcome back to channel day today i'm gonna share with you my newest purchase about something very special it's something extremely special to me because it's close to home and it's my first bag of this kind so before we start let's move on to the unboxing video as well as what Let's just do a quick go through about the back exterior. So it's, it actually functions like a MS Kelly Poche where there is actually a top handle where you just hold it like this. Yeah, there's a whole top handle that you hold it like this. On the front, it actually has two locks, which is like a flip open thing. Like a, um, and on the, on, the, on the lock, there is actually this um, their logo, which is like K, double K which is like on the opposite side and then you open it and then you flip it open on the interior you will have the metal bar above which is actually holding this this thing and the opening and the whole opening um, there's actually made in Italy here which actually stands for the their metals plate are all from Italy and then on the interior there is a metal plate that say Quantend which is the brand and then it's stated genuine crocodile and made in Singapore. So this is literally my first bag that is made in Singapore. It's carved leather on the inside. So on the top side, um, the leather is a little bit like the Safiano kind, like uh, Safiano leather on the top. And on the interior is a different kind of carved leather, which is a little bit um, tougher, durable, like a bigger pulse, and it's softer to touch compared to the stamp, stamp leather on top. The stem one which is the stem one here yeah but it's it's uh, like different kind of cuff below uh, on, on the interior and then there is actually a slip pocket here a slip pocket and in the, the interior of the slip pocket is actually fabric yeah it's fabric on one side and it's leather on the other side so yep so this is the interior and the good thing about this bag is on the back part there's actually a back pocket which is so important for me if I, if I were to like put my card my metro cards or things like that or things that I want easy access so let's just imagine that this is a metro card I can slot it in easily and again um for the interior of this part um one side is fabric and the other side is leather so it's yep I have already put in one uh, put one card on the inside back pocket let's just see what can I fit inside this bag it's actually a quite a nice size so my plaster I'll just put it on the slip pocket here there's actually a slip pocket so you can see I put it on the slip pocket here and then I'll put in my MS Bint mini wallet horizontally a packet of tissue a packet of cigarettes, my bestia coin purse, a Dior lip balm, and then most importantly, because crocodile cannot catch rain at all, so I'll have a small recycle bag here that uh, to protect the bag if I'm going to places that if it rains or whatever it's so that it doesn't touch water so I'll just put this in one side of the bag Ta-da! they are all in you can see it's pretty much all right it's pretty much all right there's just space for more it's pretty sizable bag and then let me close it No problem closing it at all. Doesn't bulge out. It's not nothing at all. It's a, it's a very good size. Yeah. Hi everybody, welcome back. So as you guys have seen um what's in my box as well as what's in my bag, um this is actually the purchase that I made for myself, which is something very special. Um, because this is made in Singapore where I live and stay in. And um, this is actually my very first crocodile bag. I didn't think that I would get a crocodile bag like so soon. Uh, I would have imagined myself my first exotic bag to actually came from the Ostrich line from MS. And I was surprised that I find something that I really like 
in crocodile matte skins um, from this lovely brand which is um, called Quan Pan. This is actually a Singapore brand and they specialize in crocodile alligator leather. Um, they, they, they're really good in it. So um, let's just go through what does this came in. So uh, just before we start, uh, I just want to thank the lovely SA from the Marina Bay Sands Boutique. Her name is Agnes as well as the other SA who's really nice, Rainy or Rani, something like that. Um, they are both very nice. They are really good sales. Uh, I have their photo here and um, they are super kind that they really bring out everything you want to see they are really very um, generous in like bringing things out showing you things and like for example you like a particular model they would have like bring up the entire color for you to choose and things like that so very nice sales very patient and really good so it actually came with a white paper bag from Quampant um, and a brown ribbon so like this and the box is a very simple one which is a magnetic closure but um I, I I really don't like this part where they didn't tie the box they didn't tie the box so I don't have the um like you know removing the unwrapping it I don't have that kind of feeling because there's no ribbon that actually tied around this thing where most brand actually comes I don't know whether the Agnes forgot to tie or or what because I specifically mentioned that I wanted it to be gift wrap so obviously like this is like not gift wrap I don't know this is just my personal feeling buying so many things from different boutiques before so this is the only one brand that I realized that didn't come with a ribbon on the box so this is something that they might have to take notes of and it actually said Quampan handmade so Quampan is actually uh, I think the boss um, surname as well as middle name one of his middle names so um, Quampan so that, well, this is how it's gonna be pronounced and let's talk about this lovely Raffles Clutch, Clutch. This is a very nice bag and it's my first crocodile ba bag in black matte hardware, matte, matte surface. So this is in the matte color. So I actually tried the glossy one as well and the glossy black is too reflective. It's, it's really extremely like I don't think it's suitable for me now at my age. Um, so I actually go for the matte one which I feel is prettier and also I think that matte Upon various research, I think that matte crocodile skin is easier to maintain and take care of. So it's just that the more you use, the more the shinier it will get. Uh, it's actually not like really really matte matte. So they have this KP treatment to this one. So they have the matte one and then they have the glossy one. And then this is in between, like you know there's a shiny sheen on it. So it's kind of like the matte one. Imagine if you use the matte one and, and you use it for quite a while, it will patina. It will have a sheen. A, gloss it will like became brighter glossier and then for the shinier one the glossy one the more you use it might became duller so for the glossy one you can't you have to bring back to the boutique for them to like you know reglaze it or things like that but uh, it's not good to do it very often so anyway according to the SA Agnes she was very up for uh the matte or the KP one. So between the matte and the KP, she says she would definitely opt for the KP. So I went for the K KP one due to the color as well because the matte that they have, the colors, I don't really like it. I think they have a yellow one. They have a bubble color, a bubble red, orangey red color, which I don't like that kind of color. I, I actually prefer like a neutral color or, or a dark color for, uh, for this KP treatment. I wanted a KP treatment and the only colors that they have in the store is actually a ruby, a ruby color as well as um, this one. So obviously there is another one that I really like the color. I think it's called Carbonite. Um, it's like a dark grayish color, um, but that was in alligator skin. So alligator is more expensive in Quantin. Alligator one was like $8,250 and this is $6,600. So why did I actually buy this now? It's because Quantin for the first time is actually having a 30% sales for all of their products. I'm not sure when will this sales end but obviously if you really like their products let's just get it immediately. So this is what I've got and um, before that I actually you know I was looking through Instagram for a lot of their photos and um, the person in charge of Quampen Instagram, her name is Fendi and she's really really nice as well. She replied all my questions as well as going to the warehouse to look for what do they have in stock for what I want. Um, um, unfortunately, they have a lot of like glossy colors in this particular 9996 model number which is the Ruffles Clutch. Um, there isn't anything that I want so I have no choice but to return to Marina Bay Sands reserving this and got this one instead. So. Uh, let's just 
talk a little bit more about the crocodile skin. So this is actually they call it like the center cut. So meaning it's like the best, the best leather from a crocodile skin. It's like the center part of the leather. So it's very nice. Like you know, you can see that the scale is symmetrical, like this. As compared to some uh, of the other bags, uh, that are their entry level, which I'll put a photo here. The entry level are slightly cheaper, and of course the workmanship isn't that good, uh, according to what I see. <laughs> and then um, that is cheaper, and as well the skill is not as beautiful as you know, like a center cut one. Center cut one is definitely more. It's, it's much prettier to be honest and it actually came with this chain um, it doesn't look okay from the photos or from the or from the video you, you probably think that it is not nice but in real life the chain looks much better it is of some quality it's definitely of some quality it's round 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 shape so when you wear it it's not hurting at all so it, it is very nice but obviously from the photos when I see people like carrying this or Kwan advertisement it just looked like a very flimsy thin thin chain but when you look at it in real life it's different it's not like that so this is very nice so I would definitely for my first crop bag would definitely go for a matte one so because it's more subtle and it's easier to take care of but thick milk for crocodile leather you can never ever get them wet the moment like if there's water droplets or anything you have to use um, a dry dry cloth and like dab it like a tissue paper or whatever dab it immediately you don't clean it like that but you dab it dab it dab it dab it dry so that is what they taught me and it's interesting and uh, for this part the part here which is like the squarey part is entirely handmade so some are by machine ma machine and some are like handmade so uh, this one I think there are suddenly some machine one and some handmade one so the Agnes was telling me that for crocodile leather, if it's squarish here, it's definitely like true hand make, hand making style because it's it's a machine can never do it like that. If if it, if it is a machine, it's like a round round shape here. So this is what she said. And then uh, Agnes was kind to give me a glove. Maybe like handle this with care. I don't know. Okay, but I'm sure I wouldn't be using it. But anyhow, and then she gave me like two to Twilly. This is actually complimentary together with the bag. So I mean if, if I want I can tie it on the handle which is pretty cool as well. Or you can do it like my um um my Cali Pochette which is like a a, a long Twilly on from MS and I can hang it here so that it's, it give you the the crossbody look if you don't want to use this chain. It's obviously very fine, no problem at all. Uh, let's just see what it comes with. So first of all it came with this um City's cut or whatever cut it is, it is basically meant that um, from Quan Pen handmade. It meant it guarantee that this article is made from specially selected farm bred genuine crocodile, alligator, or straight or lizard skin. So it basically just tell people if I think if you are traveling with uh, an exotic bag, you need to bring this cut along just in case custom check or anything like that. So this is actually like guaranteed through like City C I T E S and then um, UCN which is the International Union of Conservation of Nature and Natural Resources and then there is like Asian Conversion Conservations and Sustainable Use Group and then the most popular one is definitely the CITS, CITIS right which is the Convention of the International Trade in Endangered Species of Wild Fauna and Flora so this is the, the card that they gave which is cool so I think the easiest way is not to travel with a crocodile bag. It's not it's too troublesome. You have to bring so many things along. And then okay, so it came with the flap, the flap, the felt cloth, which is like you know, like on on this part, like you know, like in between the the the, the flap. And then this small little dust bag with content wording, which is holding the chain, and uh, the big one that is holding the bag. This normal normal dust bag. It's it's actually a very uh, quite a success substantial dust bag it actually feels quite nice holding it very nice feeling it's definitely of very high quality compared to most of the dust bag that I've, I have this is definitely a better one I feel and then the receipt which is very cute it comes in purple color purple color um, 
paper so it's really cute so because this is a sales product so there's like no refund and no no exchange so this is how the bag it is it's silver hardware and it retails six six zero zero which after the 30% is 4620 which I feel that is really very worth it and I'm going to like try to use it as much as possible in recent time and if I like it I might get another one either this one or there is actually a, a longer version which is of the same price they call it the Ruffles long poche so this is 23 centimeter and the other one is 25 centimeters and, and the other one actually came with a crocodile strap instead of this one but when I'm carrying the two of them I feel that this looks much better for my face as compared to that or I might even get the one that looks like a Kelly card which is like a very long clutch that they want to call it the Ruffles clutch and then this is the Ruffles poche and then the one in between is the Ruffles long pochette and that uh, yeah these are the few things that I like as well as their entry level as well but the entry level one I, I actually really like the wasabi color which is the one that I have been trying but I'm not sure if I'm okay with the scale because the crocodile scale is, is actually the side from the side so it doesn't look very pretty on the back but it's, I understand that because this is entry level so that one is definitely much cheaper than this but I'm just deciding whether maybe I should get like things that I really like instead of I mean I do like that too but I should have used the money to on, on something that's worth more I feel so let's just see how this bag looks on me so you can pull it like a top handle like it, it looks really pretty like if you're going for a dinner dinner date attending any like special events it looks really nice or if you want it hands free, you can put it over your shoulder. So you see the matte one is like, it's it's very subtle. You can you can use it outside shopping or things like that. It's compared to the glossy one. The glossy one, I would feel that it's too much. I, I actually hold it. The black glossy one is super 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 reflective. And then you can you, you can wear it crossbody as well. It looks great as a crossbody, right? And then of course you can double it up. So you can actually double it up like this and hold it like this, which is definitely not something that I would recommend uh, or, or do because I, I don't like such that style because when you actually open and close the bag, it's got to be very troublesome. When you open the bag, the chain would fall because th this is like the you know the wallet on chain style where you double triple triple style it which I don't like it and this is how you actually hang your bag together so there is this two sh two things two holders that you can actually attach these straps but now I'm gonna remove the straps so Ruby was together with me and she said that if she ever buy this bag she will never ever put on the chain she just think that it looks better just as a push it itself without the chain so you see you can close it you just close it back and then it looks really good like it just look like a real hand handheld clutch push it and there's no need for that chain you can do it like this as well which definitely is more formal more professional it's best for the evening as well so this uh, what I want to share and uh, of course for um this is the Nilo crocodiles uh, which is the okay uh, in in MS there's like Nilo crocodile the push porosis crocodile, crocodile which is the porosis one is actually more expensive much more expensive than a Nilo one and in um, Quan Pen alligator is more expensive because alligator is really nice so how the alligator scale works is like it goes from very small small scale on the side to bigger scale on the, the front and then there isn't any paws so I don't know if you can see the paws for alligator uh, for crocodile there are paws there are a lot of paws you can see all the dots the dots in between the square uh, I think so you can see the dots in between the square yeah these are like crocodiles you know for sure that these are crocodiles yeah but I'm so happy to get my first crocodile bag and for people who are interested in Quan Pen, please go to, to their flagship store in Marina Bay Sands together with your Sands reward card so can, you can get 3% back into the card and you can use it for other purchases and um, just support our Singapore very own brand Quan Pen. Thank you very much for watching Channel B. Please remember to like and subscribe to our videos. Bye!